I want to end with that story. See, I love the prophets. And Elisha, you know, I love Elisha because he finished what Elijah started. Elijah was nobody greater. But Elisha finished. This is what I want to show you out of chapter 8. See, Elisha would go through places, cities, find these portals. That's how Elijah trained him. He would carry him to all the schools of prophets. Carried him to Jericho. Why Jericho had a school of prophets? You wouldn't have thought they had because God had cursed the city. So we're going to have to get free of our judgments. We're just going to have to find the remnant. The second miracle Elisha did was lift the curse off of Jericho. And God had put the curse on Jericho. So let me tell you something about God. There comes a time where he says, I'm tired of that curse working down there. I'm going to show you something to do and break it. This is where we're really headed. And he said, Elijah said to this woman, and this woman was a rich woman. The Shunammite woman was rich, and she had built him a, house, a room, a house. And he had blessed her. He had prayed over. She was barren. She got pregnant. I mean, they had a long relationship. Now, Elisha had said to the Shunammite woman whose son he had restored to life, prepare and go, you and your household, and stay temporarily wherever you can, for the Lord has called for a famine, and moreover, it will come on the land and continue for seven years. The next seven years will be intense. Elisha said it. But so am I. And yet, you want to know where you have relationship because you want to be able to hear how to move. So the woman set out and did everything in accordance with the word of the man of God. She and her household went. He had raised her son from the dead. She and her household went, stayed temporarily as foreigners in the land of the Philistines, their worst enemy, for seven years. Now, I want to say to us, in these next seven years, you're going to have to go where you're sent. But you're going to have to know who's sending you. And you're going to have to know how your relationship has developed through a portal like this. At the end of the seven years, the woman returned. That's something else. We're going to know when God says, that thing's over, move. See, warfare has a time frame. It ain't going to just settle down on you. You're just going to keep moving through it until all of a sudden you're on top of it. And so that seven-year period ended, and she went back to the king, the justice system, to appeal for her land and her house. And the king was talking to Gehazi, Elisha's servant, and the king started asking Elisha's servants, tell me some of the things that really has happened at Santa Rosa Beach. <laughs> I've heard about it. Tell me about that Hammond man. 
And then he's got a son and daughter-in-law that have carried on. And then that white-haired Pierce guy has always run with him. That's the way kings are going to start operating. And people in leadership say, is this really real? Tell me something. And Gehazi said, well, I'm going to grab the biggest thing I know of. And he started telling her, him, the king, how Elisha raised this woman at one time, this rich woman who couldn't have a child, had a child, the child died, and Elisha raised him from the dead. Well, he's telling this king the story and he said, and he turns around, and all of a sudden, he said, my Lord, King, this is the woman, and this is her son, seven years later. And Elisha restored this boy from death. All of a sudden, the king asked the woman, she told him everything, now, I want to stop there and say, you better have your testimony ready. Every test you've gone through, all the way from almost dying to craving blackberry cobbler, <laughs> you need to have your testimony ready. You need to start tonight saying, Lord, go back over how I've gotten here. Go back over those things you've said to me. And she told him everything. And the king appointed for her an official. Now, this is how this thing's going to work out for us. Because of our testimony, and testimony comes from our testing. God's going to call civil leaders to start giving us favor. And you don't have to care whether they're Republican or Democrat. Because that right there will wear you down. Because Yeshua said to all of us, beware of the Herodians, beware of the Pharisees. And he said, listen, restore everything that was hers. Matter of fact, let's all stand up. Because this is what's going to happen once you've honored the prophetic, you've aligned with the prophetic, and you've made sure you are devoted to that prophetic portal. He said, listen, I'm going to restore everything that was hers, including all the produce of the field since the day that she left the land till now. Even those things over the last seven years that people took from that field while she had to be in absence I'm going to restore that. Now look at somebody while you're standing up and say, you ain't lost nothing that it can't bring back. 